Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys my tutorial on my messy bun slash top knot. There's a couple things I want you guys to know though first that kind of I think help me maybe with why I can get mine so messy and kind of perfect. I get asked all the time how to do it and I'll tell you that like right now my hair is probably two to three days dirty. I did have it curled with a curling iron. Um, I haven't brushed it out today. Um, I have fine hair, I have blonde hair, so I have a lot of texture to my hair. Um, and again, I don't have a lot of hair, so I don't have an aggressive amount of hair to deal with when I'm putting it up. Um, I don't use a ponytail holder. I think that makes it a lot smaller. I use um, just bobby pins to secure it because I think that gives me the ability to also not make it small and kind of be able to pull it out, and I'll show you guys that. Um, I don't use a lot of product in my hair. I do use a lot of dry shampoo, and that can create texture if you don't have any texture. I don't use hairspray. Again, you kind of just have to feel out your hair. I don't have a lot of flyaways, but the dirtier your hair, the less flyaway perfect your hair is gonna be. So if this is a good thing for not day one, I just cleaned my hair and blow dried it. It never works for me if I just blow dried it and try to put it in a top knot. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I think is really helpful is that I do not flip my head over to get the hair on top of my head because I've noticed that when I flip my head over, you kind of get that really perfect sleek look to your top knot and I don't like that, I like it super messy. So I just gather all of my hair and then I hold it up top and I don't, again, create like a really tight ponytail up here. Like all different fingers are holding all of my hair. From here, I just start to twist and then I hold it really lightly. I'm not like making it a really tight. And then I just take the hair and I don't, again, make it a really tight bun. Like I don't start with like doing that. I kind of just start to make it look really wide and gently place it. And then I, you can hold it and you can kind of already see how it's starting to look. And then I'll take my first bobby pin and pin that end piece. And obviously it's not stable at that point. And then I'll kind of pull it out. And then I just kind of go around the bun and kind of secure just to wear. And then you can take this end piece and tuck it under and secure that. And then then that's where you just play with it. It's gonna be different every single time and I like to pull it out. Um, I did tell one of my clients the other day that if you ever have like, sometimes I'll get like a really big bump back here. So just take those pieces and like pull it and pin it. Like it's, it's messy. So the messier the better, it's not a big deal. If you do get really tight around here, don't be scared to like take your hair and like kind of pull it out. Um, I mean, that's really all there is to it. It's just, I think, better to secure with bobby pins. It gives you a little bit more um, leeway to make it messier. Um, don't use a ponytail holder. Don't flip your head upside down, and the dirtier your hair, the better. Thank you.